Um, I've been called crazy. I've been called insane. I've been called mad. I've had quite a people, few people ask me, what drugs do I do? Do I do acid, mushroom? Do I smoke weed? Am I on coke? I mean, I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs at all. But I'll tell you what I do. <laughs> I do life. I do life. I do life. That's what I do, life. I'm high off life. I'm infatu I am infatuated with life. I'm over hell's over in love with life. I love existing. I, I'm, impassionate, I'm passionately in love with ex existence. Existing. Um, so the question still remains is why I do what I do. And I keep saying this over and over. Am I just a normal guy? that's going out there and having fun or am I a mental case um, I don't know but I'll say this David Blaine I don't know if you guys know David Blaine um, Evil Knievel is David Blaine's biggest mentor so David Blaine went up into the mountain to meet Evil Knievel you know because he worshipped Evil Knievel all his life you know Evil Knievel on one side is, is a world renowned stuntman and David Blaine on the other side is a is a world famous magician Slash, uh, he is a semi musician because I t I feel like David Blade is a musician slash borderline stuntman. I'm not sure exactly what he is, but whatever he is, he is. So finally, they met and they got into this huge intellectual rivalry about what they do, why they do what they do, and they both share the kind of same common denominator, right? They are both somewhat extremist in what they do, and. I kind of saw things from David Blaine's perspective. David Blaine said that anyone could do what we do. Anyone could go out there and do exactly what I do. They just have to make their mind up to work hard. And Evil Knievel's object point was, no, you can't. We were born this way. They can do what we do because we were born this way. I could kind of see things from Evil Knievel's perspective. Right, he for some strange reason he's trying to inject this whole genetically affil affiliation into why he do what he do as some way of separating himself from the public. To me, that's a, some some level. That's a level of biasness, and I'll tell you why. Because if Evil Knievel was to agree with David Blaine, then Evil Knievel's life work would be somewhat simplified by hey, anyone can do what we do. You just have to have the courage, and. So I can see where Evil Knievel came from. It was, a, it was from a defensive standpoint. He has to separate himself um, in some kind of weird individualism kind of way, individualistic type of way, to exercise his superiority. And I kind of see where David Blaine is coming from because he assumes anyone can do what we do because in his mind it appears natural. The big question is, is here... Because it appears natural to David Blaine, does it make it natural? Maybe it's not. Maybe he's missing a screw. Maybe he is a mental case. And one of the, the, the observations I've made with people who had mental case or people who were mentally unstable, a lot of things that appeared natural to them was unnatural to the, to the majority of public from people who had, autis, who had autism, um, with Savant syndrome, Asperger's, um, people who are schizophrenic, delusional people, just Mental cases, period, and in a nutshell. Their perspective on things appeared normal, but it was abnormal to everyone else. So, in some kind of philosophical way, this is like a real deep philosophical question as to whether it's subjective or not. The big question remains is, what is the question? Yeah, the big question remains is, do, can anyone do what I do? Or is a person born this way and I don't have the answer